Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Point by Kathleen Miller. Today I am doing a 16 inch oval canvas. Haven't That's done, I mean, round canvas because I haven't done a round in so long. <laughs> I've, everything looks oval to me, I'm telling you people. So, I mean, even, even Phil's face looks oval to me. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so, anyways, moving on, I have my base colors down, which is half white, which is... You sure you know your colors? <laughs> yeah. It's the uh, color to go from Sherwin-Williams, the white satin. And my tricorn black, which is number 6258, Sherwin-Williams. Color to go. No silicone, no water, no glue. And you can also use these colors on an oval canvas. <laughs> you know, they teach you your shapes and your colors in first grade. <laughs> I skipped first grade. Oh. <laughs> I went right on to second. Oh, so. there we go. No wonder. Yeah, so I never learned that stuff. <laughs> so, anyways, my colors today are Waterfall by Prism Pork Color Art. Lemon Drop Primary Elements Color Art, Heart Throb Prism Pour by Color Art, Orange Red and Orange Yellow by Arteza, Egyptian Coin, and Chantilly Lace, people. NV by Prism Pour. This is Josanja Burgundy and Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex. This is Chantilly Lace and Hot Orchid Prism Pour mixed together. Chrysocolla Prism Pour. And this is Pretty Petunia by Prism Pour. So That's, we're going to get started. Hey, you forgot your... Chantilly lace and a pretty go. face. <laughs> it's going to be last on my oval round canvas. <laughs> and I'm starting backwards. <laughs> I, I swear to God, Phil, people think that I've had lost... My marbles sometimes. Well, they might think it, but I know it. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay then. That's right. This is really off kilter, isn't it? That's, okay. that's okay. No, it doesn't have to be exact. Oh, I almost did a tic tac toe. I'm more on this side, so we're going to do this. So how is everybody doing today? I have to go back to first grade and learn my <laughs> shapes, I guess. Because that just was not good. But like I said, I haven't done a round in so long. And I've done so many ovals. Yeah, that's true. It has been a while it's for been a long time. That's, uh, yes. So but I haven't done that. That black and white is quite striking. So I'm hoping these colors really pop on that. Well, hopefully. If they don't, we're in big trouble. So they should. Hopefully, people. And um, when I put my base down, I know a lot of you don't normally see me put my base down. It is always wet. It is never dried. Yeah, you try to start the video very quickly after you after you put your base down. I do. Because and I, I don't show a lot of times putting the base down because I just feel that it's just a base coat. Um, there's no right or wrong to it. Uh, well, I never measure, and usually after I put it down, I spin it just a little bit to even it out. And you try to keep your videos to a reasonable amount of time. Length, yeah, length of time. So. I'm going to put Chantilly Lace in there twice now, Phil. I mean, it, it took you so long to get that black and the line between the black and white so straight. Oh, you are really <laughs> going to be in for it after this video, aren't you? <laughs> Just rub it in, Phil. Just rub it in. I can't wait till you do another one. <laughs> I just can't wait. You know, I'm I like just, I like giving you grief. I, I'm remembering all this stuff during these videos because payback is sweet when you don't have any of your paints mixed up ahead of time and I make you do your own base coat and then I make you clean up and get paint on your fingers and, you know, I make you put your gloves on before so that you can get them on and not take up a lot of time because you didn't get them on before and... 
You're putting them on after and you can't even get your fingers in. Oh, that shut you up pretty good, didn't it? So I'm just going to do all the talking on this video. So everybody, you know what? Hop on over to our channel. Subscribe to our channel. We have fun here every day. Um, all these paints and pigments are mixed with my pouring medium the same way, and it's video number 478. If you're wondering about the prism pours, uh, please, please read the directions because you can um, thin them with water. And also there's other things that you can do on the back of the prism pour bottles. It will tell you. They're wonderful. They're sparkly. They're just amazing. Head on over to Color Art and pick yourself up some of these colors. They're absolutely stunning. Phil can tell you the, the way they shine is amazing. That's true. And Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art, and you can get a 20% discount off of all their products. There is a discount link and code, I mean, discount code and link in the description box, uh, along with KS Resin. There's a discount code for that in the description box, and also Boom Gel Stains and Australian Floetrol, which is actually what I'm using right now with my Oxide Black by Amsterdam Paints. Yes. And it's on my Teflon spatula. So those direct links and discounts are in the description box. Okay. Kathy did clean her spatula after she did the swipe and is putting some fresh cell activator on the back. Yeah, you wanna clean it because if you don't, you're gonna have all the paint mixed in and you're not gonna get your cells that you're looking for. It'll just smear uh, the paint and not create any cells. Correct. And look at this nice cells that she got on the first swipe. The second swipe is just starting to create cells. And given a little time, it should look very similar to the first swipe with very vibrant cells uh, growing in size. Oh, they're gonna keep growing all right. We're gonna let them just cook a little bit while I can wipe this up before it gets stuck to everything. There is a video on how Kathy put her puppy pool and spinner set up together. And uh, there's a direct link to that. It shows exactly how she puts the spinner together, how she puts the sticks on the spinner and how she attaches all her canvases uh, to the spinner to make sure they're secure. Yeah, and I've been getting questions on how often do I clean my pool? Um, I try to clean it at least once a month, but because I do it so often, that's the reason. But if you don't do it, I do this daily. That's why I have to clean it every single month. But if you don't do it daily, oh gosh, it, it can be weeks that you wouldn't have to do it. That's true. So, okay. I got to pick this up off of here. Oh, and I got my, oh, stop it. Phil, you're a big help, you know? <laughs> hey, I'm, I gotta keep two hands on the camera. I don't wanna drop it into the painting. Oh my God, you put my new phone in that, I would be so upset. Well, now that I have paint all over me. Oh, it's new, Kath. Okay. Oh, we're gonna marble this one. Yeah. We're gonna bring some of that black and white into oh, yeah. each other. Exactly. Kind of go through back and forth between the black and the white. I think it would be very cool. And one thing Kathy has learned is try to keep the marble rolling at a reasonable pace. 
therefore it doesn't dig in quite as much. I'm just trying to keep it at a pace that you can keep it on the canvas, but keep it rolling at a reasonable clip. Speed. Ah, it's really bringing the, the black and the white together. Super. Wow. Oh, this is cool. It is. I think I'm going to drop yep. it off and look there, at it. No, I think. I think uh, it's got perfect amount of wrecking from the marble. Yeah, I think we're good to go here. Pretty sure we're good to go. Very striking. Look at how, <laughs> what? I got my. <laughs> oh, you're, the, you're going with what? <laughs> how vibrant and striking the colors are that Kathy laid down. Got some beautiful cells, and then I just got a couple little bubbles. I just wanna the contrast from the white and the black side is really pretty. It, yes. Okay, we're gonna spin this just a little bit. Okay. Wow, that is oh yeah, people, really nice. This is awesome, awesome. Oh my goodness, I am so in love with this piece, people. Oh, really nice. Oh my goodness, cell formation. I'm loving this. Oh yeah, baby. As you can see, you can see the sparkle from the prism pores and the Chantilly lace throughout here. I just want to go up into here. Wow. This is gorgeous. I mean gorgeous. It is so pretty. <gasps> I know when you first look at it, you see how all the beautiful colors and the cells, and then you're thinking, what's kind of different about it? And, oh, one side's black and one side's white. This this is stunning. This is stunning. It really is. <sighs> and you know what, people? What? I'm going to give you a little bit of a secret. Before oh. this. Before this. Hey, don't, shh, don't tell anybody what. It's about you. Oh, no, no. Don't tell anybody. When I said to Phil, I'm going to do a round. Oh, there's our lovebirds, our Mr. and Mrs. Uh, I said I wanted to do a round 16-inch canvas, but I'm going to do half black and half white. He goes, oh, why do you always want to do that black? I go, because black it's beautiful with these colors. He goes, and then he gets real, you know, okay, fine. And then after the fact, like now, he loves it. That's true. That's it true. It is. It That's is. true. I always worry about black being, uh, darkening all the colors too much. It but, doesn't. But when you use such vibrant colors and quality products that you use, it has, you can't go wrong. It, it doesn't affect them at all. It doesn't. I mean, here's all these colors on the black area, and they're just fabulous. So, uh, again, I am completely wrong, <laughs> which is which is normal. Oh, boy. I don't think I'll ever learn, though. You don't. Know? You don't. But you know what, people? What's so funny? I don't listen to them. Oh, I know. You know, which I is just, good. That's I good. I do my thing, That's... because, and I just laugh the whole time, like, if, okay, Phil. If if you would take my advice on these creations, they would be a disaster. So we, we'd have zero subscribers. Uh, that's true. <laughs> you always manage to come up with the right colors to put on and uh, 
Yeah, uh, and okay, bringing that fact up, people will ask me, how do I pick my colors? I, I don't have an answer for any of you because it's, it's in my head. It's just in my head. I, Phil can tell you, I come up here, I look at colors, I just put them down. Uh, I just know by looking at them. I, I, I can't tell you how I pick them out. Um, it just comes natural to me. That, that's all it is. I've never had schooling on this. Um, I've never taken a painting class. And it's just, it's just in my head. So with that said, please subscribe to our channel. I hope that you like this. I hope that you've learned something from me today. Please try this technique. Um, it's a lot of fun. And I hope everybody stays well, stays healthy. We love all of you. And um, you're just a great bunch of people, just a wonderful bunch of friends that Phil and I have accumulated over this year and a half. So until the next time, everybody, stay healthy, stay well. We love all of you. Bye. Take another look at my favorite color, black. <laughs> <laughs>